heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Portage, Indiana, USA, presenting the challenger, Hercules. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean super boy, Do Ho Choi. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. the grapple with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. All right, early round one here. Big reach advantage, DC. We'll see if he can employ that patented jet. Yes, he has to maintain distance. He's the taller guy. So every time his opponent tries to enter, he's gonna have to take something on the way inside. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's stay focused. 
and he landed the right hand there. He just missed with the left there. Big head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, huge block! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Nice head kick. Oh, spinning back fist lands. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, man, look at that. Fit turn perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Close guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Choi. Back to the feet now. Big punch land. Ooh. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Double jab there by Short. One home. Oh, nice elbow. And there comes the separation now. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Takedown defense holds up. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, but the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Nice. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC's. Big left hook there. Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Plus, right hand is true. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you'll start to see it taking effect. Look at that. You there? All right, good. You're fine right now. You got clipped. You were wobbled, but you're tough. We've trained for this before. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether it's run, high, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first 
grotesque element to shoot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That's a big strike right there. One two punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Beautiful leg kick throw. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good one. Over the top. This fight's gonna be over this What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the he thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. He's able to slip the left. Collar tie now. Blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. Oh! He's still over the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And he's back to his feet. Good sign for him there. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit. A guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head, to the activity, and the awareness of this fighter defensively. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love a grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. He wiped him out. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 29 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. Du Ho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen, a huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight.